Hello, today I'm going to be flying from Buchanan Field in Concord to Moffett Field in Mountain View. So I will select the departure airport and may have to type this one in. There it is. Uh, I'm not sure about runway. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Cessna 172 Skyhawk G1000. Give it some tail info. And save. And we're ready to fly. Oh, uh, flight conditions. Live players, live traffic, real time weather, and time of day. And here we go. Always takes a long time to load. I'm sure it's loading a lot of textures. My graphics card is very low resolution, low performance. I'm wondering how long it's going to take when I get a better graphics card. This is an HP laptop with an NVIDIA MX350 GPU, which is kind of underclocked, I guess, and low power, and so I'm overclocking it by about 50%. I also have a fan on the side to blow off any excess heat, and I noticed that it doesn't overheat when I do that. Um, after a lot of tweaking the settings, I actually managed to get it very playable, despite being so low resolution. So. Um, while I wait for my R11 to arrive, this um, is actually very fun and very playable. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just set the heading to our current heading. Going a little closer. Uh, okay, I've got the heading set. Uh, I want the flight director on. Um, I'm going to want navigation eventually and flight level control. For now, autopilot's going to be off. Uh, don't need any of this stuff on the screen right now. Uh, don't need the yoke inside. Uh, we're not landing. I think this is fine. Um, parking brake is on. Take that off. Uh, I usually put down the flaps. The last time I took off, I didn't use any flaps, and it was a much better takeoff. So I'm going to try it that way this time. I was also having a lot of trouble with the pedal rudders, T rudder control, but I found out how to change the sensitivity, so I'm trying out a uh, very low sensitivity curve at the moment. It seems to be doing a good job, actually. All right, so here we go. Take off. And so I'm always trying to keep somewhere below 10 degrees when I have the flaps. And maybe when I'm not using them, it's not going to be the same thing. But it seems to be hard to get speed going close to the ground. Uh, and what's happened before is that I would stall, uh, crash, or have to nosedive to get the plane flying again. Uh, I hear that warning sometimes. I'm not sure what that means. I think it might be ATC, or it might be autopilot telling me that I'm going the wrong direction. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to continue straight for a while until I get some altitude. Um, and then I'll let the plane take over the navigation. Alright, outside view is always kind of nice. Uh, again, everything's very low res, uh, not a lot of detail, but 
doesn't matter if you're trying to learn how to fly and have fun flying. I'm gonna watch my engine speed. And I'm still not gaining a lot of speed. I must be flying into the wind or something. I'm gonna turn and see if I can change that. have to push the stick forward after a turn like that and I still don't have the engine speed I want but I'll just keep a low climb angle uh, so I avoid stalling etc. Flight director thinks it wants zero altitude. I forgot to set my target altitude but I'll do that once I get into a stable situation. Turn again towards the direction we're supposed to be going. All right, and I guess we'll pass back over the airport, but that makes sense. All right, so let's see if the plane is gonna wanna navigate properly with autopilot. Right, we got a stable thing going here. Maybe I can set my train. Get some stability here. Let's see. I seem to usually want somewhere around 11 or 12, 13. Try that. Alright, dropping speed a little too fast. And back up a little bit. It's always a little tricky to get the trim dialed in. And my speed's going a little bit too fast, so we can drop that. Here we go over the airport again. Alright, so if I can get this stable, then I can go in and set the autopilot up where I need to it. And this is a wind pushing us. And we have to use the pedals to stay on track. Uh, I think we're okay. have to trim just a little bit to know we're dropping speed. Uh, yeah, I think I need to try to use the pedals to counteract uh, that crosswind. Uh, it's a little faster than I want to go right now, so I'll drop the engine down. And uh, it may be stable enough to try this. And so if we go in here. Altitude of 3,000. So I'll set that. Alright, and I'm going to want navigation on and engage the autopilot. Get a little bit more engine because it's probably going to need that. Alright, so it is turning and it's going to make a sharper turn because it's trying to get us back in line and then it'll turn again to get back straight onto the proper heading. And I haven't engaged uh, flight level control yet, but I'm going to do that to get up to 3,000 in a minute. So if you look at the compass map, you can see it heading towards the line and then it'll turn and the line will straighten out. I'm going a little too fast. There it goes. Okay, so a little bit more power just in case. As soon as it straightens up, then I'm going to switch on flight level control and get it up to 3,000 feet. Still a little fast. This is down. All right, so it's already at 3,000. Just have to turn that on. And it's trying to fly at 84. I think I'm going to uh, drop that a little bit. That was 82, 80 or something. 
I'm going to do 77. Okay. There we go. All right, so now we are climbing towards 3,000 feet at the right speed, approximately. Maybe a little slow. Heading in the right direction. And all we have to do now is kind of sit back and let the Garmin fly the plane. Just have to keep an eye on the airspeed because that's critical to change often. I feel like we're not gaining much altitude. Maybe it needs more speed. Yeah, there we go. That's a problem. Trying to go 77. Didn't have enough engine power to do that. Alright, so now let's go to the camera. Go outside with the drone. I don't have an Xbox controller plugged in, so I'm just using the keyboard keys to do this. so it stays hovering a little bit. It's a little easier to do it. Okay. Alright, so I should be able to just sort of rotate it around and something like that. So I guess no matter where I go, it's going to stay pointed at the plane. That's really nice. the low resolution, it seems totally playable. The physics seem like they're not hampered by the lack of GPA, GPU power. Uh, we've got the settings pretty dramatically bad back with a lot of tweaking. I was having some crashing and so I had to lower the rendering quality down. But I wasn't sure if it was maybe my anti-clocking I mean, I mean, my overclocking software with the monitors, it was maybe anything. It's really odd looking over here on the right. I wonder what, I wonder what that is. Looks like the building's extruded up from the ground or something. Oh, it's very odd with grass on top. <laughs> uh, very strange. I'm not sure exactly where we are. Let's see. How high can I go on the drone, I wonder? This is just the East Bay Hills, must be Concord to Mountain View, must be the East Bay Hills. This little valley here, I'm not really sure. Castro Valley? I don't know. I think I can go right back to my... Yep. It's interesting you hear the Doppler effects as the drone moves quickly towards the airplane. I've not figured out how to make it do auto rotation. I've seen people do it, I don't know how they do that, so it's block mode on, focus mode on, rotation speed 50%, but I don't know how to do it, so I don't know if I can use the camera. Fantastic. 
Alright, so go back to the drone camera. Um, yeah, how to rotate? I don't know. I can hold the key down and make it rotate. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, back to the external view. Uh, I wonder what kind of views we have here. One of my favorite views. Sometimes you can see rips and tears of the satellite images and what that looks like in Alright, so they're warning me about. Ooh, I'm going too fast. They're warning me about some traffic. Um, so I'll go back inside in a moment and figure out where that is. I see somebody moving. Alright, I wonder if they show up on this guy. see somebody over at near Oakland Airport. I'm not really sure. Alright, anyway. One of my favorite views is to just look up over the dashboard. I've checked my engine speed, just going too fast. We'd really rather keep it under 80. And I forget that with autopilot, once it reaches the target altitude, uh, it doesn't need the climb power anymore. We've got to dial the engine back. So we're still 18 nautical miles from Moffett Field. Uh, this must be, I don't know, Hayward, St. Lando, Fremont or something. Let's see. Uh, go outside, down. Sometimes when you're doing this, you can see the 3D geometry filling around the buildings as you're going by, as it has time to compute that stuff. Alright, so I'm going to execute a flight level change down to 2500. So let's go here and dial this back to 2500. It's in altitude hold mode now, so this isn't making any difference until I click flight level control. So it's going to want to go down at 72. Can't do that though if we're already going at 72 unless I drop the engine back and then it has a chance to build up to that 72 speed by descending to uh, 2500 feet. So it's trying to find 72 knots and 2500 feet at the same time. I think there's a little bit of wind, so it's bopping around a little bit. Uh, good vertical drop speed on the right. Okay, you see the engine speed dropping, rather get it up somewhere between 75 and 80, ideally. Um, so we've reached our target altitude. That's why the speed went down, you need to bring that back a little bit up. So that's the critical thing about autopilot, is you have to constantly be controlling the speed yourself, but once you grasp that, it actually gives you a lot of control over the situation and uh, you kind of cooperate with the autopilot to let it do its job. I'm going to do another drop down to 22,000 feet, uh, which is what I would want to be at to land. So let's go in here again, and drop this down to 2,000. It's a little s dangerous to use the mouse wheel here because the mouse position might move and you might click the wrong thing. And so I like to use the click 
for this. There we go, 2,000, flight level control. 85, I'd rather not descend at 85, I'd rather descend at 89. Drop the power, let it do the descending. Ooh, somebody just went right by me. <laughs> going a little fast trying to get down to the 79 so here we are this must be what is this I guess Hayward or Fremont or something New York all right speed's dropping we've reached our new target so I guess power to Stay afloat. Not too much. It is a beautiful day in the Bay Area. At least according to the game. I haven't actually looked outside. Go back inside. And keep an eye on that airspeed. I really don't want to go down into the 60s until I'm getting closer to land. Once you get autopilot dialed in and the flight is smooth and it's going in the right direction, it becomes very peaceful to just kick back and enjoy the ride, let the plane do its work. Uh, with the mouse wheel you can zoom in and look at all this stuff, it's really nice. Looks like Silicon Valley-ish Fremont or something. I'm not sure if the Dumbarton Bridge is in view or not. I think no. I let the AI handle all the ATC traffic, and so I don't usually actually pay attention. Didn't really pay attention to what he said, but I can catch up by opening this up. I don't need that. So yeah, you can see the current ATC traffic up here. You can go back and review what was sent to you if needed. But like I said, I let the AI handle all that. As a matter of fact, I am going to let the AI handle the landing. So it's a really nice smooth landing. All right, so I'll let him take over from that for now. Uh, I heard a ding, I think, which means that the autopilot is turned off. Okay, there's the uh, landing pattern. Looks like I switched at kind of the right time. All right, kick back and let the autopilot fly this thing. They are not very good pilots, but it, it'll get it on the ground. It'll keep it from stalling and going at the, it'll keep going at the right speed. That's an interesting view, seeing the sun and the underside of the plane while it's wobbling a little. That's really cool. 
Um, you don't get a lot of flexibility in external view mode, you can look around. In drone view though, you can go anywhere you want. You can disconnect completely from the plane, which is a little strange. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. It's going to happen. Well, let's see, first of all, let me reset. All right, now when I disconnect the plane, it heads off on its way. <laughs> I said we're following again, but now we're really far away. I think there's a way to reset. We hit five. Yep, there we go. But that, that can be kind of funny to let the plane go off and do its own thing. What happens if focus mode is on? No, then it won't do anything. Um, at any time, I think I can reconnect by hitting five. There we go. That's really cool. Um, but with the keyboard, WASD keys and the directional keys on the numeric keypad, I can move around. And so there's A, D, S, W, up on the numpad, down on the numpad, uh, left and right. Uh, there's also um, tilting, I think that's 7 and 9 with tilt. Or I have to reset on to go up. And I think I need to go back too so I can still see the plane. There it is. Okay. Oh, there's a plane going right up there. Interesting. Look at that. Very nice. Now, my co pilot is coming in super low, which is fine. That might even be right. Maybe the pattern markers are just a fixed height or something. Uh, at some point I'll stop using them, but I find it really helpful to make sure I'm not going too fast. Um, there we go, staring into the pattern. Let's um, reconnect. Got the flaps down for landing, that's good. Making a turn, and go back inside. Uh, it might be interesting to watch the ATC traffic as he heads in for the landing. Uh, so we've been cleared to land on runway 14 left. Again, this is Moffett Field. I wonder if we'll be able to see the blimp hanger. Oh wow, look at the uh, salt flats or whatever over here. That's really pretty. Now, very low res. Again, this laptop is not meant to do this, um, although the chip is designed to overclock. Uh, okay. Oh, he's handling the throttle. That's right. I don't need to worry about that. Um, but yeah, this is totally playable at this level of frame rate and detail. Uh, my Aurora R11 should be here by the 24th, supposedly, according to Dell. So things should get a lot clearer after that. Um, so, just kind of sit back and let the co-pilot do it. So you see the flaps down. So he's doing a great job regulating the speed, although we're right at the stall point. Um, I have a real hard time keeping a nice even speed. You have to just fly right above stall when you're coming into your landing. But the landing is essentially a controlled stall. And so I'm trying to be like right ahead of that stall the whole time, and then at the last moment you do a real stall under the runway. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's the way I think about it. I was watching one pilot and a professional pilot, a military pilot, flying in the game, 
and he came in for a landing and what he did was he he did this thing holding the stick saying something like hold off hold off hold off he was trying to hold off to the very last moment before touching the ground but when he did that he didn't bounce he was able to slow down and so i would trying to practice that when we do a landing uh, if you can you know get low enough and straight enough to the runway. You can hold off for a long time and then drop down and you don't bounce. So again, he's doing a great job controlling the engine speed. Um, here, I'm picking up the engine as we head towards um, stalling. We go below this green line. Um, and so we can see a bunch of other people that are in the same space. We we'll also sometimes see um, commercial jets. Uh, who else is here? Uh, yeah, a bunch of people out flying. Makes sense. ARA chemical. I saw this earlier. I wonder if it's a real flight or if it's. I don't know. That's interesting. It sounds a little bit too normal to be a gamer tag. Oh wow, this is really beautiful coming in over the water. After so many landings, it's such a joy to let the co-pilot do it because it's, I'm not, good at it and it's very nerve-wracking to do it well. I don't have plane damage turned on, but I tend to be making uh, what seem like okay landings, but I'm going to turn on damage soon and see if that's really true. I may be overstressing the plane. Alright, so we're almost there. Um, I don't really know notice the blimp hanger and stuff. You know, the AI may not know everything about everything to land it. But when I was on the ground at night before I did see some recognizable hangar buildings. Let's go back inside the cockpit. Kind of be can be funded watch on the instruments. Let's see, can I do that? Yep. Yeah there we go. Oh, here we are. What a nice, soft, perfect landing. I guess it's not windy here today. Yeah, this seems like a very nice gentle landing. I would love to roll the land like this. Just a nice, even descent right down to the tarmac, right at the stall point. Right, right where you need to play the stall. Actually, I think with the flaps, the stall point is that white line. And that's why they're not dropping. I'm not sure why he's not actually landing. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Trying to get past a certain point in the air. Alright, nice. Alright, nice. Alright, so even though the AI is flying, I have to do all the ATC stuff once we're actually on the ground. And so uh, I don't want to cancel landing intentions. Uh, sometimes it'll say to connect to ground. I don't see anything like that. Uh, as far as the buildings go, uh, I don't know, 
range, but they kind of look a little familiar over here. I'm not sure it's kind of hard to tell. I need to hop into something slower and fly around and see what it looks like. It'll be easier to tell later when I get the other practice card. Um, all right, so there's the taxiway. I think, I wonder if he'll do the taxi. It's nice having the blue arrows on the screen. It makes it very easy to tell where you're supposed to go because I'm usually not familiar with any of these airports. I think once we're off the runway, it'll switch. Yeah, it's gonna switch and let us communicate with the ground folks. the wrong way. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. Doesn't matter. There's somebody. There we go. There we go. Well, let's go Going to Press taxi to parking. Um, I don't know if he's going to do the taxiing or I'm, I might have to. I, I may have to do it. Let's see. One thing I always forget to do is to turn off the AI when I'm done because otherwise you got to fly the plane next time and he starts taking off. All right, so now he's not holding the brakes anymore, so it's up to me to deal with this. Ground services are just too fast. What do we have here for ground services? I'll go back to clearance. Okay. Uh, actually, I should try my newly desensitized pedals on the ground. So uh, let's see if we can do this just with the throttle on the feet. Oh yeah, this is much easier. Much, much easier. That's too fast. Let's slow down. And this car's here for some crazy reason. I'm not really sure why, but we have plenty of room. Wants me to do this crazy loopity loop thing, but I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, the pedals are working great. So I, I have it really dialed back. Um, with like a, almost a circular curve. Before I would just move it a little bit and the plane would go nuts. Okay, the last time I landed here, I actually crashed into that building because I couldn't see it at night. So it's nice not to crash. Are these other people that have landed here? That would be cool. It kind of looks like that. Yeah, the pedals are this is working fantastic. Okay, I need a little bit more speed for a second. Um, if it was nighttime, I'd probably have to turn on my taxi lights or something I never think to do. Landing light, taxi lights. But you're supposed to do that kind of stuff. I keep pressing D, I guess, to recalibrate the gyroscope or something. Wow, a lot of airplanes parked here. This has gone cool. Uh, but I don't think they're slayers. I think they're just decorations. Because those tags are all further away. I wonder what the livery is all about. That's interesting. I can't really read anything on the plane. But I mean, this is a government facility, so who knows. Oh, and there's my landing spot. Very nice. Uh, you can hit just the right brake and slow down and turn at the same time, which is kind of nice. Uh, we'll need to get a little bit more energy to actually get in there. So taxiing all done without having to use the pedal. Really well. Interesting. Okay, let's go way too far. I want to hit the guy. I'm going to if I'm not careful. Okay, parking brake. Turn off the engine. And it should be off. 
Oh, or maybe it didn't take. Oh, I didn't hit the right buttons. There we go. Turn off the engine. They go away. Worth me about the engine oil pressure. And turn everything off. And that's it.